we are off to a picnic at a park nearby. I thought it was the perfect excuse to wear this ridiculous hat that I love. Every single Tuesday, I go see my mama. Off we go. The lake, Ontario, is down in front of me. It's beautiful here. Little animals eat out of your hand. It's just a gorgeous place, but I don't think we're going down there today. I'm just gonna find my mom and the rest of the picnic stuff. The picnic was delightful. I didn't show you what we were eating because I didn't want to film my mom and her cousin. So we just enjoyed ourselves what we had. Salad, hard boiled eggs, tuna, some sandwiches, and my mom was suggesting going to get ice cream. So there's a foot long hot dog stand in Burlington and it also has the best and most ice cream flavors. So we're headed there. I think it was built in 1937 or something. It's old, it's really old, and it's just been one of those landmark historic places. So that's where we're going. We're gonna have some ice cream. It's gonna be delicious. This is Easter Brooks. Since 1930. It's really cool inside too. Here's a car that actually suits the restaurant. We had delicious ice cream. We're still feeling healthy. We're still very healthy. We had a healthy breakfast. We're having a healthy dinner. I don't know what we're having yet, but it'll be healthy. We are on our way home. I'm gonna show you the way home. It's my favorite place to go on the motorcycle because the road is just beautiful. I really wanted to ride the bike today, but can't wear a picnic hat on the bike or bring picnic gear. And again, so pretty down there by the lake. One day I'll walk there and show everyone. One day, don't feel the wildlife. That's the best part about coming here. I get it though, I get it. This part on the bike is beautiful. It's all a ravine down there. So pretty. Hopefully, he realizes that there are also cars on the road. It's really short though, because this is as long as the pretty forest area goes, and then we end up Rich in neighbors. fancy neighborhood. Look, it's fall. It's officially autumn. Colors are changing in our backyard. Has leaves fallen out? You know. Yes, we have yellow leaves all over the backyard. It's fall. You can't really see it on the camera, but. Are these all sacks? Yeah. Anyway, I adore living down here. It's absolutely beautiful. We are home. I changed that outfit, it was not the most comfortable, or at least the top for lounging around editing the day before yesterday's vlog. But I wanted to show you this merch I got from the Kaleo show. This was actually merch from the opening band. I never normally buy merch. Firstly, it's way expensive. But secondly, it's not been that great lately. We go to a lot of shows, Darren loves music. So this shirt, it said, I am not who I was. The theme of my life right now is transformation and really just living from the heart as we are inspired to and living in that frequency and watching everything that we dream of come to us while we act on our greatest excitement. So because of that, I saw this shirt and I thought that is perfect. 
Let me show you the back. It's a giant heart with wings, kind of like a house inside the heart. And I just love it. Chance Pina. So I did look up some of the music and it's quite good. Anyway, I thought that was cool. So I figured I'd show you. Bubs and I are going to hang out on the couch, edit a video, and then I'm going to go around and water the plants again. Let me show you this plant. I have this love for plant life. There was a plant at the grocery store and it was so sad. It was marked off 50% and it was jammed in a corner, completely wilting and just dying because nobody was looking after it. And so I purchased said plant and I've been nursing it back to life and it's gone bonkers. Here's the plant. This is what it was and it was all hanging over the side and so I bought these. They came in a pack of different shapes and I bought that on Amazon but look at her. So she's too big for her britches. I'll be heading to the dollar store to buy another pot. I get these from the dollar store honestly. Best place to go for such things. If you love plants as much as I do, it's really exciting watching them grow. But I will be posting a video all about plants, a little tiny bit of a plant tour, and some info about plants and how I care for them and the easiest ones to start with should you want to start some plant life in your home. Outside, we don't go there. I don't garden, <laughs> at least not yet. Although I have two perfect veggie garden plots back there in raised boxes, which I heard is a good thing. There's white boxes back there, but I haven't ventured there yet. So for now, camping on the couch to edit some YouTubes. Bubs will always come and join me. If there's anything else you guys want to see or learn about, comment below and just let me know. I used to have a bike a long time ago, motorcycle, I mean, and it was one of my favorite, favorite things. And you know, life changed. I sold it, got another one, sold it, and then just didn't get one for another, oh gosh, how long was it? 10 years-ish? And Darren rides, and so convinced me to get another one. So I recently did, and we are going for a ride this evening, because it's a beautiful evening. <laughs> Caught on a box. home and somebody is very into the cup holders right now she just wants you to pat her butt while she's in the cup holders hi you're ridiculous <laughs> she just shoves her face in We're having a later night snack. Tonight I'm having chopped up strawberries and almonds. Anytime you have a carbohydrate, by that I mean fruits, veggies, greens, grains, always make sure you pair those with a healthy fat or a complete protein. So in this case, I threw a handful of almonds in with the strawberries. This will ensure even distribution of energy in your body. She definitely thinks it's for her. It's not for you. Happy Wednesday. This morning I did some reading with the bubs who's on her cup holders and I was going around checking on the plants because I actually didn't end up watering them all like I should have last time. And I wanted to show you a neat little gadget I got that will work excellent for cleaning drawers or cleaning any small space, even if you're not gonna use it for plants, but dirt gets everywhere when I use that little moisture meter. So here's bubs in her cup holders. But yeah, the dirt, it's nuts. So I have a little Dyson that comes with the dust buster attachment. It's still not small enough to get into the nooks and crannies where all this dirt ends up. So I checked out Amazon and I got this little vacuum. It's brilliant. It comes with all kinds of little attachments. Show me a dust buster that gets into spaces this small. It's so good for the car too. And it's cordless. And I don't know how long the battery lasts entirely, but it's always lasted for as long as I need it to. But I wanted to show you that because it's excellent for the car and drawers and other such things. Another thing I forgot to mention, if you check out that previous video that I uploaded, I made my favorite smoothie in the morning. And I wanted to go over how most of us are creatures of habit we're humans right and we always end up eating the same things day in and day out and that's really not 
not the greatest thing to do because your pancreas is responsible for creating all of the different enzymes that digest all of our foods. And if we're eating the same things day in, day out, it gets exhausted on those certain enzymes and says, well, if we're getting foods that we only need certain enzymes for, let's forget about creating all the others. And it gets lazy creating the other enzymes. And oftentimes this over time can show up in your body as food intolerances or sensitivities when really it's just your pancreas trying really hard to create an enzyme it hasn't needed to create in so long. It also helps to eat in a rotation so that you're getting more micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, and nutrients from all of the different foods that are available to us. So I'm going to tell you how I go about eating a rotation diet in the easiest way absolutely possible. So when I was in school and I was in the nutrition aspect of school, they were saying it's best to have a four day rotation diet, meaning whatever you eat on day one, you actually don't eat again for another four days. And I thought that is the most unrealistic way of eating. So I got to thinking, well, how the heck can I create a rotation diet that keeps me as healthy as possible and also is very mindless, easy to do. So in the day planner I created, I created my own day planner and alignment journal. I have a grocery guide that I made and I'm going to show it to you and tell you exactly what to do. This is the grocery guide. So basically what I do is I take this empty page to the grocery store. It's got categories and the instructions are here, but it's got blank categories for each thing. Fruits, veggies, greens, grains if I'm having those at that time. I tend to avoid grains entirely. Proteins. And so what I'll do is I'll go to the store and look for two different fruits that I know that I like four different vegetables, two different types of complete protein. Remember, there's a difference between any protein and protein substances that actually contain all nine amino acids that are essential for the protein to work. And then I'll put two types of greens and so forth. And I will write them down on the list as I purchase these things. Then I'm going to take that list to the store next time. So I'll go through all that food. I'll prep meals. I'll do whatever until it runs out. Then I'm going to look for four different vegetables that I know that I like that are not on that previous list to different fruits, different greens, and so forth. And then of course, this goes week by week by week or however often you go shopping. And then, yeah, it will cycle back to the beginning. But once I get to the end of things I know that I like, I will always, always search for something to include into the new round that I have never tried before. So I'm always trying new things. And then I'll look for two new recipes that I really like that I want to try out. And I'll try Try them out. If I like it, it'll stay in the rotation. If I don't, it gets tossed. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you because that's a really easy, good way to do rotation eating so that we're not adding any stress to our lifestyle. Anyway, I'm about to go to the gym. I have an appointment there with a new osteopath. Osteopathy, if you've never heard of it, it's similar to holistic health. So what I do is I'm an expert in how the inner workings of the body all function together. All systems of the body integrated and functioning as one interconnected whole unit, including the mind. Osteopathy, Osteopathy is cool. So we know about chiropractics. Chiropractics work on your spine. Osteopaths work on the entire structure of your body. Muscles, joints, tendons, bones, and ligaments, and how they're all connected to your musculoskeletal structure. And so they can make adjustments that realign the entire body rather than just the spine. And so I'm going to check out this new osteopath who's offering a free 15-minute demo at the gym, and then we'll do a workout as well. I'm going to throw in different versions of the seven primal patterns movements for you than I did last time because it's time for my rotation. So if you want to know exactly how I work out and why for muscle growth and how to do it in the most efficient way possible, so getting max results for the least amount of effort, check out the previous video to this one because I posted that immediately before I'm posting this video. But I will take you to the gym and we'll get it done. Fun fact, my gym used to be a steakhouse. I've heard my dad talk about this steakhouse before in my life and I never once put two and two together together until I was in the lobby and there's a picture of it. Here's a picture, but now it's a gym. So that's neat. But I also wanted to show you this weekend in Hamilton, it is Super Crawl. Super Crawl is an awesome, awesome event where they shut down 
the main drag of downtown Hamilton and it's all kinds of people that make handmade really cool things and last year I was there I got a bonsai and a plant always plant hunting but I also got this bag and unfortunately he had to close his business I hope he still sells these online because it's so cool but it was a really nice guy who makes bags out of old t-shirts so I got a Guns and Roses one and the strap is made from a martial arts belt which was fun because I was a white belt at one point Brazilian jiu-jitsu that's what I was doing he leaves the tag in and the inside is all patterned as well it's so cool it just serves as a really good gym bag I bring all the gym stuff in here and as well the camera stuff but I'm gonna go in and see this guy for osteo but anybody should go check out an osteopath see if you can get a free consultation it's just so cool to see how your body is really aligned and we never realize how much actually affects that children that have jolly jumpers it actually affects them later in life often if they use the jolly jumper often so when I took pre and postnatal development it was one of the best most interesting courses I've ever taken because it talks a lot about how things in pre and postnatal times of our lives affect us structurally as older adults or throughout your entire life and I was learning about how our nerves all myelinate a sheath forms over top of all of our nerves this is called myelination and it's very important for our movement how we move in life and so if a baby is forced to be vertical without they themselves getting to the point where they can be vertical in space and move through space themselves like this is why babies will roll over then they will crawl then they will grab onto things to get themselves upright then they will take their first steps but when a baby is put into a jolly jumper and forced into a vertical position its nerves aren't able to myelinate properly because what actually causes appropriate myelination of our nerves is to be moving ourselves through space to be affecting our body via gravity by pulling ourselves up to a standing position etc so just really neat stuff I thought I would share <laughs> I digress let's go in I'll see the osteo guy and then I'll show you my new seven primal pattern movements for this next four weeks. does it for today. We did some different things today. We did a glute burnout and I cannot wait to go home and have a cold pap, Azalea, to be specific. We did it just left the gym. Just like the last video I posted right before this one on my channel, I don't show you the entire workout. It's probably boring to watch. If you want to see the full workout, let me know. Or if you want to know exactly what I do and why, let me know. You're going to have your own needs, of course. I just wanted to take a minute to talk about inspired action and why it is unbelievably important to follow. There are two osteopaths that now work at this gym. They're both lovely. I had a consult with one osteopath a few days ago. It was great but something was telling me to book an appointment with this other guy and I had no idea why something just nagged at me book a consultation with this next guy and he spoke my language he knew all about lymphatic drainage he knew all about different aspects that I don't even know about that was just fascinating about Chinese medicine and how everything's connected in the meridians and he did a 15 minute adjustment and drain of the lymphatic fluid 
I'm telling you, I was able to work out like I haven't been. It blew my mind and the conversation was amazing. He taught me new things and I was able to teach him some new things and it was just absolutely amazing and that never would have happened had I not followed the inspired action. You never know who you're gonna meet, who you might run into, what you might end up doing. Always, always follow inspired action. It's gonna seem like it has nothing to do with what you really want. It might seem like a thought you wouldn't normally think. Always, always follow it. If you want to know more about the truth behind manifestation, quantum physics, the law of frequency, two videos before this one is a Saturday vlog. I spend the whole first chunk of that vlog talking about the laws of frequency manifestation. It's so great. Anyway, we're headed home. I'm just amazed at how things turn out and what really comes to us when we simply calibrate our frequency. It's always going to be unpredictable and absolutely amazing. Stop trying to predict everything. It's way more exciting when we don't. Yeah, you think lunchtime is for you. It's not technically lunch. This is just a snack. Two eggs smashed together. Greek yogurt can be used in place of mayonnaise, by the way, and in place of sour cream and tiny thin rice cakes. And of course, an after gym pop. I just spent all afternoon after the gym updating my public speaking bio. That's done, but that's exciting. It's a whole page you need to make for public speaking, what you talk about, why, all that stuff. And tonight we are having sweet potato fries, corn on the cob, and chicken. Corn is not easy to digest. The most inflammatory corn things though are gonna be processed corn, like Tostitos or corn tortillas. Those are terrible for the gut. This is not so bad. But but it does come out in our poop and there's a reason for that. Darren made this dip, which is delicious. What is in your dip? Greek yogurt, dill spice, and dill pickles. Sometimes I do that too, but with lime juice as well. So we're gonna eat this and it's gonna be delicious. Good morning. Today is Thursday and today my bestie of 30 years and I are going to have a bit of an adventure. She, for my birthday, which was all the way back in February and here we are at the beginning of September, gifted me this really awesome, unique gift. I gotta show it to you. It's called Guess Wear Trips. You can find it online. It's a travel package. I asked for it to come in the mail you can get it to your email but it's just so much fun to receive things in the mail and it comes with this package there's all kinds but I got one for country farms and furry friends these are all secret packs that we open every time we get to a mystery stop you can choose your local area and I love animals so ours is going to be revolving around animals there's an animal sanctuary involved and then a whole bunch of other mystery stops. Open the before you go envelope to learn more about your surprise day trip. This itinerary is completely self-guided and nothing needs to be booked in advance. That's not true. For the animal one, we did have to book the sanctuary in advance. The envelopes will lead you to a series of stops creating the ultimate surprise road trip. She is just the absolute coolest person and she thinks of all these amazing things. We've gone on adventures together of all kinds over the years. So that is what we are doing today. I always get questions about this hat. I was in Colorado with Darren and we found this market with vendors that make handmade things of certain types and this woman was there, we just happened upon it randomly, who had all these different trucker hats of various colors and a whole bunch of patches and some of these strands of either chain or beading. Basically you pick the patches yourself that resonate with you in whatever way. You pick the hat and she will stamp it all together for you and we had the most meaningful conversation about what it's like to struggle with an anxiety and panic disorder, what it's like to have depression. I have struggled through and overcome these things in my own life. So to be able to speak with her about it, it was just so, it was such a beautiful conversation and it was such a moment of connection. She was just the coolest person. So Darren and I both made these hats. This is a Zippo, a very dear father type figure to me that passed 
loved Zippos. Radiate positivity, cause always. Courage always rises. A lighthouse in a bottle, cause why not? Behind every successful woman is herself. A fuzzy rainbow, an acorn, and then her daughter makes these chains and beading. Anyway, it was such a meaningful time and a meaningful thing to receive at that market. She's called Tattern and Torn. She's absolutely phenomenal. She also sells things online. Check it out anyway. But that's where we are headed this morning. I can't wait, but I'm gonna bring you along and show you. First stop, markets and mazes. The Dutch Mill. That's where I buy the guac seasoning. Corn maze and tiny shop bakery. One of our favorite country markets. Grab a bite or a fun farm with corn mazes, baked goods, and even a petting farm. The choice is yours. <laughs> So this is our third stop and this is an animal sanctuary, livestock sanctuary and petting farm that provides a unique experience for all age groups. It's family run. They rescue their animals and they also are a place for adults with disabilities to work here and volunteer here, which I think is amazing. And apparently you can get right in with the animals and take selfies with them and all that good stuff. How great a place is is this that's lovely <music>
decided to kibosh the last stop we went and nothing is going to beat the one we went to before. The lady said so when we were there. She said it would be boring everywhere else because it was so amazing. I recommend everyone check that place out, support them. It's just an incredible cause and such a beautiful place and the people are lovely. So instead of going to the last, actually the last two stops, one was just looking at some animals through a fence. We didn't have anything to feed them. You can though. And then the last one was right by my house, which is a little walking path hiking trail. And you know, we're hungry. So we came to Lock Street in Hamilton, which if you haven't heard of is a cool kitschy place with lots of awesome restaurants and things to see and do. So we're going to go to a restaurant and eat food and relax. <music> sandwich was ridiculous. We walked up and down Lock Street. We went antique shopping. It was amazing. We are full. We are tired. And that was a day. So the rest of this Thursday, I'm just going to be editing, couch potatoing. I hope you had a great day, whatever day it is for you. And I will see ya in the next day.